Describe array representation of stack. List and explain various operations. Stack is an abstract data type where insertion and deletion of an element occur only at one end known as stop. Stack is known as last in first out, LIFO, because last item added to the stack will be the first item to be removed from the stack. Memory representation of stack. Two ways to represent a stack in memory. First, array representation is used if stack's maximum size can be determined in advance. Second, linked list representation is used if stack's maximum size cannot be determined in advance. Array representation of stack. Stack representation using an array must contain homogeneous data. Maximum size max of stack must be defined before implementing it and is confined to the space allocated to the array implementing stack. Index variable top points to the topmost element of stack. For stack, Top is initialized as minus one and max with maximum stack size. That is max equal stack size and top equal minus one. To insert a new element into stack, value of top will be incremented by one before placing new element at top. When first element is inserted into stack, value of top is set as zero. To delete an element from stack, top is decremented by one. Operations on stack. First is empty. Check stack is empty or not, returns true if stack is empty, else false is full. Check stack is full or not, returns true if stack is full, else false. Third operation, push. Insertion of new element into top of stack is known as push. Fourth, pop. Deletion of top element from stack is known as Pop. Fifth operation, peak. Peak operation returns top element of stack. Operations on array representation of stack. Let's consider a stack representation using an array of size 5. So in this, it is an array with the index starting from zero to four because the maximum size of the array is five. So initially top is assigned with value minus one and max is the size of the stack, which is five. Now let us push a number 10. So while pushing a number 10, top will get pointed to the index zero and at the place of top 10 will get stored. Again, we push two numbers 20 and 30. So top will get pointed to first index and 20 will get placed. Then top will get point to second index and 30 will be placed. So each time during push operation, the value of top is first increased by one and the element will get stored. Next, we perform a pop operation. So during the pop operation, value of top will get decreased by one. So top will points to first index. Peak operation is used to return the value which is present in top. So it will return the value 20, which is the value pointed by top currently. Now 
Now we further push numbers 40, 50, 60 and 70. So during the push operations, already 10 and 20 are present at 0 and 1 index. So each time the element to be pushed, value of top will get increased. So by the time we push elements 40, 50 and 60, top reaches to max minus 1 which is 4. So we will not be able to further push the elements. So 70. So we will not be able to push the element 70 into the stack. So it gives stack overflow. Stack overflow occurs while we have pushed the element 70 because stop reaches to max minus 1 which is 4.